Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. Welcome back to my channel. So, uh, so uh, today we're going to be doing a review of the next five um, comics that I bought last week. And so I hope that you will enjoy them. So the rule is I start off with the one that I did not, or the one or ones I did not like, and then I will switch over to the ones I did like. And to keep them from getting damaged, even the ones I didn't like, I will be putting them back in their bags and closing them because, um, you know, so that they don't, you know, so they don't get damaged. So the one comic that I really did not care for was X-Force issue number 33. Now this takes place in the danger room and you have basically Wolverine and um, the Beast who are being hunted by Craven the Hunter, or I should say, Craven the Hunter is going is using um, the Beast to get to Wolverine. So I had no problem with the dinosaurs. Uh, this is the danger room, so all this stuff happens. But the ending of it made absolutely no sense. Um, I did not like, uh, you know, I I just. There was just there was just things about it I did not like. One of them, of course, was the ending of it, um, which makes me really glad that uh, this uh, series is coming to an end. Um, the illustrations I had no problem with; they were really nice. Um, but yeah, it's just it's uh, literally just like I said, it made absolutely no freaking sense at all. And I like my stories to make sense. Like, I don't know. Um, just the pacing of it uh, was just, it was like they were, they were trying to hurry it up um, and get the story over with instead of it like, you know. So anyways, um, just didn't like it. Thought it was going to be a really great issue. The last one was, was good. This one just sucked. So I give um, X-Force issue number 33 um, three stars, and I'm just being kind. Um, and that's actually going to be the last um, X-Force that I'm purchasing ever. <laughs> so no more X-Force. So let's move on to the ones I did like. So we're going to be reviewing um, Moon Knight issue number 16. Now, uh, this week, uh, the new Moon Knight Annual is coming out. I will be purchasing that. So, yeah. So, this is Moon Knight issue number 16. And Moon Knight and his two vampire friends are having a conversation with this one woman who is really super old. Um, and so, uh, you know, she talks about her master and talks about this guy that, turned himself into a vampire and all that type of stuff and his goal is Dracula. Dracula is the ultimate um, person. So you have uh, you have Hunter's Moon who's going up against these vampires um, and of course we all know that he's very good at what he does and he's able to defeat them. I did enjoy this issue a lot. I have not yet encountered a Moon Knight issue that I did not like. Um, I absolutely, absolutely loved this issue. Um, the illustrations are always top-notch. Um, the stories are always good. It's like they take their time to figure out, okay, um, you know, how, how are we going to improve on this story? So, um, I, you know, I'm really shocked uh, that uh, Moon Knight has survived its lo as long as it has. Um, so I will continue to be uh, buying this series. And um, yeah, so I give it um, five stars. It is a great, great issue. The next one is Midnight Suns issue number two. I ch uh, you guys know I chose it for this really cool variant. Um, so uh, we so uh, 
so um, I really did enjoy the first um, issue of Midnight Suns, and I, um, I I think that people literally take the title literally. Um, I have not watched, sorry, not watched, sorry. I have not read the original run of the Midnight Suns, but I'll just say something. This was awesome. Um, so this was actually the series that got me interested in Strange uh, Academy. And um, I just, like I said, loved it. Um, a thing is, uh, we do get, we do get a little bit, like this is uh, 1428. So this is like during the time of the great uh, witch hunts. And so you've got these witches, this part of a coven. Oh, man. My back hates me right now. Uh, they're part of this, um, you know, um, uh, coven, and they summon they summon this uh, this lord right here and um, and so um, yeah, so you have a, you have a member of Strange Academy here. So they summon this uh, creature that takes the life of this one witch, and basically sh uh, she explains that, you know, um, this creature is, um, like, responsible for, um, um, You know, it, it's just, it's, um, yeah, so like I said, yeah, this entity, I know I'm going, I'm going off, off, uh, play here, off, Ooh. but anyways, every time this entity is, is, you know, this entity arrives and, you know, and everything, and, uh, um, he gives these, you know, he supposedly gives these gifts freely, and then, you know, she just discovers that, you know, no, um, you know, nothing about magic is free, that you're always going to have a price that has to be paid. Um, and I'll be absolutely honest, I really like this Agatha Harkins a lot better than the WandaVision version of her. The WandaVision version of her is nothing like her comic book counterpart. This Agatha Harkins is a lot more, um, wiser she has a lot of, she's very, she's like literally like ageless, but she is old. And, um, yeah, I just, like I said, I just enjoyed it. Uh, Dr. Doom is being Dr. Doom. Um, and he's also, he also has a huge amount of like, you know, hubris and everything. And of course we get Stephen Strange's ex-wife in this, which, um, uh, Mike the Spider Slayer liked that, and uh, yeah. So I give it five stars. It's a great, great um, book, and I enjoyed it immensely. Then we're doing a review of Dark Crisis. Um, Dark Crisis. Um, so yeah, so this is the cover. So, uh, I am really late into the whole Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, event. Uh, I, I really, like, um, I don't even, I don't even know if this started when I came back to buying comics, but I'm really late to it. And I actually had to upload my Kindle app again because I plan on to get issues two and three as a Kindle edition. And I will say this, um, I could go on eBay and get physical copies of this, but I kind of want to read them, review them, and, um, and um, 
you know, uh, I don't want to have to wait uh, two, three weeks to be able to finally read them. And yes, this is the appeal of digital comics. You can get them right away. Yes, you got to pay cover price for them. But I do plan on to buy physical copies of them next month so I can delete them, <clears throat> delete the digital versions, and have them as a physical issue. So anyways, um, so you have the death of the Justice League. Um, so it's like, you become one with the dog. <laughs> like, oh my god. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, I really like, you have Black Adam there. Um, Superboy is, like, trying to form a new team. Um, you know, and, uh, it's, like I said, it's a, it's a really good, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really, it's a really good, um, issue. I, I enjoyed it, um. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it, it was it was a good issue. I didn't, I didn't know how I was going to like it. Um, but I ended up really liking it. I'm, I mean, it's just, it's, I mean, you don't really like, you don't really like, you don't really know, um, you know, um, what's going to happen, and like I said, just absolutely enjoyed it, uh, and yeah, so I gave it five stars, it's a good issue, The last one that I'm, view I'm reviewing is the final issue of Flashpoint Beyond. And um, I'm going to say that I was really shocked at the ending of this uh, comic. Um, it's just, it's just, <laughs> I, I liked it. Like, oh, that's so sweet. A kiss. Yeah. Um, you know, they, uh, <clears throat> they're still, they still love each other, despite all the shitty things that both of them have done. <laughs> both are killers. But, I, I just, oh man, I loved it. Um, uh, it was so awesome. I just, this is actually better than issue five. Um, the ending was confusing. I won't show the ending of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, she's very different from, you know, the male Joker. Uh, she has, a, she has, a, like, a lot of emotions, and I just love it. I love it. There she is. So, so definitely five stars. It's a great ending to the series that, minus the one, I did really um, enjoy a lot. So, anyways, um, that is review for these five issues. Um, I'm going to go ahead and purchase um, two and three of Dark Crisis. So, what I will definitely be doing is um, I will be uh, bringing that out probably on Saturday, um, well, uh, 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 yeah, um, yeah, probably on Saturday, um, so the, uh, let me, let me rephrase that, the comic that I'm reviewing that you're going to get on Saturday is going to be marked, the Halloween, um, edition, uh, that's going to be a solo review of that comic, and then on Monday, I will bring out the review of the of Flashpoint's issues two, three, four, and 
five. And then um, I believe I, I believe I'm going to choose the Eternals as the next one. Um, with the uh, with the um, uh, Judgment Day one, I do them in order. So um, yeah, but personally, <laughs> I'll be honest. I can't wait till Judgment Day is over. So um, yeah, um, I will see you guys around. And until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.